we drove across the Golden Gate Bridge with a flat tire on our fifth wheel camper. And needlessly put others and ourselves at risk. Here's what we learned and how you can prevent a similar situation. Welcome to the channel. I'm Paul. And I'm Liz. And these are exciting times to push past fear, build confidence, and live amazing. And you will surely have to push past fear because every time you get on the road in one of these rigs, there is danger. There really is. If whether it's your weekend home or your full-time home, your camper, your fifth wheel, your RV, there's a lot riding on it. There's a lot of stress. I mean, we always feel a lot of stress on travel days, don't we? I do. Yeah, I certainly do. Right. And if you have never driven with your home behind you, it is a different kind of driving. It's definitely, you feel that. You feel that pressure. You know, it's a lot of mass moving at 60 miles an hour down a highway. Everything you have is riding on those tires, just like the advertisements say. And we had a flat tire and we learned so much from it. So first thing we wanna do is thank you guys. We wanna thank the A-Team because we did a video about our flat tire where we did drive across the Golden Gate Bridge with a flat on our fifth wheel. And we received so many helpful tips. So if you hear any noise in the background, it's a growler that we're gonna go see. An EA-18 growler. It's flat. not his stomach growling. <laughs> <laughs> but it's actually, we are near a naval airport. Naval air station, NAS Whitby Island. We still, to this day, don't know how long we rode on a flat tire. But it was a ways. We could tell because the sidewall was all dirty and kind of chewed yeah. up. And yeah. it, it wasn't a mile or two. It, yeah. was, it was a while. Yeah. And we don't want this to happen to you. Because, like, if we'd had a blowout, it can be, we've heard, what, $2,000, $4,000, even oh, $5,000 yeah. worth of damage. Because yeah. a blowout on a camper is not like a blowout on a car. It's going to take parts of the trailer with it when the tire explodes. And that can be very expensive. And in these days, just even getting parts, you can be months waiting to get parts, oh, right? Yeah. yeah. Sure. You definitely want to avoid a blowout. And, of course, you know, beyond that, the risks of your whole home and, and your lives at oh, risk yeah. if you lose control of that trailer. Yeah, not to, not to scare you, but this is one side of our trailer, obviously, and, and we've got the kitchen behind us, and there is gas line leading to this stove. A blowout could easily take out that gas line, and, and a spark from that could cause the thing to go up in flames. I mean... Yeah, so let's talk about blowouts. Now, some blowouts are tire defects, but a majority of blowouts are from what? From heat. Heat is the number one cause of blowouts. Just generally speaking, heat is the number one cause. If it's not some damage that you've done to the tire by hitting a big curb or hitting a, 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 a pothole that damaged the, the, the cords in the tire, um, it's going to be heat. And what causes heat? Are you talking about like a hot day? Well, a hot day certainly is going to be is going to cause the tires to be hotter than a than a cool day. But the really big issue is tire pressure. So imagine a tire, the way it's touching the road. But if it's underinflated, more of it touches the road. You have more contact, and you're building up heat. Right. And that is what's leading to a blowout. Right. I did a little bit of research online, and and you can do the same. But, but. The experts all seem to agree that 195 uh, degrees F is the temperature where you're in the danger zone. Well, this is what I find so fascinating, is that if you know the temperature of your tire and you're able to monitor that, you actually can prevent a blowout. Up until we would had our flat tire incident, which was not a blowout, we had run over a screw, but up until that, I thought blowouts were these random scary things that you just knew you were taking a risk every time you drive down the road. Well, that was the big learning for me, is that blowouts, many of them are preventable. They don't have to be random incidents. So what this video is all about is, is a TPMS system that we installed on our rig. Right, because we heard from you of what the best TPMS system is, which is TST Trucks, and we partnered with them and we learned so much. So yeah. what does a TPMS system do? 
Well, it monitors tire pressure, and, and in our case, it also monitors temperature. So we can see, at a glance, we can see what our tire temperature is and what our tire pressure is. And it sets an alarm. So you get a low pressure alarm if your tire is suddenly losing pressure. You get a high temperature alarm if, you're, if your tires are getting hot, which is really important in the summer. You may have properly inflated tires, but you may need to stop and let them cool down a while on a super hot day yeah. and you're driving across yeah. Arizona. And then the third alert is high pressure if the pressure is too high. Right. An alarm will sound. I mean, it's, it, it, yeah. takes, it really takes the stress out of driving. All of those values are programmable. Okay, so let's go back to the Golden Gate Bridge. So we had a screw in the tire. It was not a blowout. We also have a flat tire. What? Yes. So oh. if there's air here, we've got to, we have a, oh, we have a flat no. tire. For a while, there's mud all around it. It's oh, we know the TPMS would have helped us because it would have told us right away when we started losing air pressure on the tire, which was well before the Golden Gate Bridge, we would have been able to pull over safely while we still had more air in the tire. Let's say you picked up a nail while you're driving down the street and you've got air leaking out pretty rapidly. It's going to tell you that before the tire actually gets too low. And you don't have to look at the monitor, an alarm will go yeah, off. Right. Yeah, I mean, this really gives you peace of mind. So we went with the system that TST Truck makes because I did some research and, and they are just the best out there. To give you an idea of this company's commitment to tire pressure and related things related to that, they have the system that you see on tractor trailers all over the road. They can increase or decrease their tire pressure on the fly. Yeah, as they're driving down the road, they have an air pressure system that will monitor these tires because these trucks are driving millions of miles. The reason we mention that is that all of their products for the RV industry are tested on these trucks. Right, yeah. They get millions of miles of tests. Yes. They test them for heat, for water, for durability. They partner with a lot of big trucking companies and they can get a million test miles in a month. Well, should we talk about the system, how easy it is? Depending on how many tires are on your trailer, you'll want to get a kit with two, four, or six RV cap sensors. Then get additional sensors if you want to monitor your tow vehicle. If you have a Class A motorhome, you'll need to get the kit of six sensors. And if you have eight tires, then you'll need to add two more sensors. If you are towing a vehicle, you may want to get additional sensors for it. And no matter what your setup, consider getting sensors for your spare tires. The kits we are showing come with a repeater so that what you are towing can communicate with the monitor. Even if your vehicle has built-in TPMS, we recommend you go ahead and get sensors for it as well. Your TPMS will not monitor high pressure or temperature, and it will not have an alarm. So basically, because I didn't know anything about TPMS, is you get a sensor that you put on each tire. It goes where the uh, air valve... The valve stem. Yep, yeah. yep. Goes right on the Schrader valve, mm -hmm. which is what that thing is called that you put air into your tire in. Mm -hmm. And then, I mean, you program this, but the monitor knows which tire it's looking at and it's just basically we turn it on in fact the day before we do travel we turn it on and we're able to check the air pressure on our trailer tires without actually getting out a uh, an air right. pressure it's really a wonderful system and we highly recommend it if you have a class a if you're pulling a travel trailer or a fifth wheel whether you're full-time or part-time any time that you are towing something in fact this system will is also compatible for anything that you're towing. So if you're towing a boat, maybe you have a boat and a camper, this system will recognize when you go from one trailer to the other. Mm -hmm. TST has been gracious enough to give you 15% off. That's right. And they have other products too. We have the Spare Air. Yeah, that's a, that's a pretty handy little accessory that can go along with this kit. Here's the growler again, but here's the problem. So most spare tires in campers and fifth wheels, and I don't know about class A's, they're not that accessible. 
And so you can't really monitor the air and boy, when you need it, uh-oh, there's no air in it. And of course it, it will probably lose air over time. So rather than cranking it down every few months and putting air in it, the spare air is like a hose that attaches to it. It is exactly a hose that has fittings at both ends. One end goes to a uh, mountable Schrader valve that you mount to the frame of the, of the whatever you're putting it on. And the other goes to the spare itself. And uh, who knows what a Schrader valve is besides Paul? Just let us know in the comments because I've <laughs> never heard that before. <laughs> Schrader and Presta. Those are the Schrader two. Schrader and Presta. Presta valves are the ones you see on <laughs> real high end bicycles, you know. That... I really want to hear from you because I've never, I, I just call it a, a, a valve stem. <laughs> it is that too. <laughs> When I bought my fifth wheel last year, it had Westlake tires on it and I joined the forum for that fifth wheel. And people were like, oh, as soon as you buy this, get rid of your China bombs. I'm like, what are China bombs? So what are China bombs? Tires that are manufactured in China. Westlake is what we have on our rig. Salian, I think. Salian was one. Maxer yeah. or something. Maxis. Is Maxis. An, yeah, is another. There's quite a few manufacturers, but any tire manufactured in China falls under this classification, this imagined classification of China bomb. And I say imagine because what's happening out there is there the people are confusing causation with correlation. You've got 90% of the rigs out there running on Chinese manufactured tires. And this is not just travel trailers and fifth wheels, but this is also class A motorhomes. So what are the odds that when a blowout occurs that it's going to be a Chinese tire? Causation is what actually causes the blowout to happen, which is heat. Or, right. or damage to the tire that you did by running over a pothole or curbing it or something. Right, so this is another video where we could save you money because there is a movement that says, okay, as soon as you get your new camper, get rid of your China bombs and put on an American made tire. What we're saying is you don't need to do that. Yes, you need to make sure that your tires are properly inflated and that they're well cared for, but just swapping out a tire is not going to make or break your chances of having a blowout. Goodyear Endurance is one of the more popular tires that people talk about switching out to. You run Goodyear Endurance on your rig and you run those low, your chances of a blowout are just as great as ours is with Westlake's. Well, we're going to go out and watch these planes uh, take off or jets. Are they, I can't even say plane, right? It's a jet? What yeah, is it? It's a jet. It's, <laughs> it's like an FA, it's like an FA-18, but it's uh, EA is, it's an electronic warfare version of the F-18. Is it just F one kind that we're going to watch? Yeah, that's, that's all I've seen flying. I've seen, I've seen a, a P-3 and a C-130 as well, but, but mostly I've been seeing the EA-18s whole different language for me. But before we sign off, we want to hear from you about your flat tire situations. Yeah, tell us your stories about maybe some flat tires, hopefully no blowouts, because mm -hmm. uh, we all know how expensive those can be. Yeah. If you've had that, you know, and you want to share, by all means, put it in the, yeah, let in us, the comment section below. Yeah, let us know if you've had any damage to your rig and what that ended up being and how long that set you on the side until you got that done. And remember to check out the TST, TPMS system. Remember, we have a promo code where you save 15% off MSRP. And we will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.